hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to evaluate this infinite series n is equal minus infinity to infinity 1 over n square plus 1 okay uh, as a first step uh, here uh, if we plug in 0 uh, here we know 0 1 over 1 so we have 1 so we can write our infinite series is equal to 1 plus according to symmetry we can write 2 times sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square plus 1 then 1 plus 2 times n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square here plus 1 instead of plus 1 we can write minus i square so then 1 plus 2 times sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over now difference of 2 squared so we can write n minus i times n plus i ok then uh, we can find the fossil fractions so we can write here uh, we can use uh, cover method so 2 times n is equal 1 to infinity now I am going to take uh, first uh, n minus i now instead of uh, n if we plug in i here we have i plus i 2 times i so 1 over 2 times i then uh, next we should take n plus i now instead of uh, minus i so here we have minus 2 times i so minus 1 over 2 times i then uh, we know this 2 this 2 this 2 get cancelled 1 plus uh, now 1 over i here also 1 over i so we can take 1 over i as a common factor here n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus i minus 1 over n plus i ok then uh, what can we do ok uh, let's recall the uh, digamma function in previous videos uh, we discussed about uh, the digamma function so uh, we prove the uh, formula uh, for uh, the series representation of digamma function digamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus z ok then uh, we can rearrange uh, this sum uh, to use the digamma function so here 1 plus 1 over i uh, then infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity now i am going to add uh, 1 over n so 1 over n minus 1 over n plus i then we should subtract uh, 1 over n so here 1 over n here we have 1 over n minus i plus 1 over n minus i so here minus 1 over n minus i ok then uh, we can use the digamma function here 1 plus 1 over i uh, now uh, we know instead of this part uh, so here now we know instead of c now we have uh, i uh, so here we have digamma of 1 plus i here minus gamma uh, so plus gamma then here we have again minus digamma of 1 minus i instead for this part uh, digamma of 1 minus i minus gamma uh, gamma we know here uh, Euler's Mascheroni constant so uh, gamma uh, get cancelled so now we have 1 plus 1 over i times digamma of 1 plus i minus uh, digamma of 1 minus i now uh, we know this formula about digamma function digamma of x plus 1 is equal to digamma of x plus 1 over x uh, we discussed uh, this all formula about digamma function in previous video i will add the link in the description uh, and also make a card uh, so 
uh, now instead of diagram of 1 plus i we can use uh, this formula so here 1 plus 1 over i now we know uh, diagram of i plus 1 over i minus diagram of 1 minus i now uh, if we multiply i times i we know i square i square we know i square is equal to uh, minus 1 so uh, minus 1 this plus 1 uh, get cancelled so we have 1 over i diagamma of i minus diagamma of 1 minus i ok also we know about uh, this formula diagamma of 1 minus x minus diagamma of x is equal to pi times cotangent of pi x so here diagram of i minus diagram of 1 minus i but here diagram of 1 minus x minus diagram of x so minus sign so minus 1 over i and uh, here now we have pi times pi times cotangent of pi i cotangent of pi i but uh, we know cotangent of pi i is equal to minus i times hyperbolic cotangent of pi therefore uh, we can plug in here minus 1 over i uh, times pi times cotangent of pi i we know minus i times hyperbolic cotangent of pi and now we know uh, minus sign get cancelled i get cancelled so we have pi times hyperbolic cotangent of pi okay this is the answer if you like uh, this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching